Well, Brian, we're back at one of our favorite lakes, Roche Lake. <laughs> it's been five or six years minimum. I think so. Since we've been here. Well, we got the permit this year, you know, BC Parks yeah. gave us the permit or BF, Go Fish BC or who, yeah. who was it that gave Freshwater us? Freshwater Fish Society yeah. got their permit renewed and uh, gave us the opportunity to feature our favorite lake, Roche Lake. No, no, we got Roche, we got Tonkwa, Lake, yeah. right? We got a bunch of lakes we can actually film at this year. But you know, Roche Lake, the fish are being in the shallows. Brian knows where they're hiding, so I think we're going to go right in the weeds and get at them, right? <laughs> Why not? I think we're in the alligator pit. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So that's today. So we take you sport fishing. On the Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, Rods and Reels. What you got, Brian? Nice fish. I got one of Don's flies. <laughs> yeah. It's been a winner. It has been a winner. Oh, it's a nice fish to start. Nice size. <laughs> Little guy. It's a good one, though. There he is. Oh, we'll get this guy out. Yeah. Oh, they're on that crony, Bry. They like it. Yeah, the little shadow. They love that little shadow. Nice. Beautiful color. Oh, nice. Pretty you know, fish. I haven't had a indicator go down. All it's done is slide. It's, it's sliding. Yeah. It's weird. I'm waiting for it to go down. And it, <laughs> it doesn't They're not aggressive, right? They're just starting up. So it should be good. Like we've had some good fish on that little shadow, eh? The little shadow yeah. chronomid's on yeah. fire. It's good. Oh no, he's down in the weeds, Bri. Oh man. See him down there? Yeah. He's uh he's trying to go that way. I see him down there. <laughs> Got a little weed problem down weed. there. It's tough. Oh, tough getting he's... him out of the weeds. I think he's gone. Yeah. Well, I might not be. We gotta, we gotta go get that fly. Okay, yeah, I got I got lots. <laughs> it's 
It's just funny they're sitting right in those weeds, eh, Brian? Like right in the weeds. All through That's it. why you want to call them, right? They're just cruising in and out of those weeds. Why is that? Why do you think? Just because it's clean water? Yeah, well, it's a bit of a... It's shallow, but the water's still really, really cold. Yeah. And there's a little bit of color to the water, and there's some bugs coming off. So those fish are feeling pretty comfortable in that cool water. And what do you think, like, temperature-wise, 53 degrees? It's, it's 51. 51? It's perfect. And, okay. You know, it's bright sunlight. You wouldn't think they're in there, but... No. Maybe the loons have chased them in there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. We had one bugging us for a while. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see if we can get one out here. Right in there, look at where we're casting. I mean, there's a weed bed here. We found a little pocket. You can see how you can see how shallow it is. It's just only four feet, five feet max. And that's it. We're having to bring the fish through the weeds. It's not easy. We've lost some big ones. We snapped some good ones off. Oh, that's nice, eh? Hey, we just calmed out like you said. That's what we needed. Oh, look at that. And you can just see how shallow a water we're fishing, right? Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice fish fry. Oh, oh. got to keep them out of those reeds. <laughs> yeah, they just dig for the bottom and, oh, that's so cool. I'd help you with the netting, but. Yep, there we go. You good? Got him up there. Whoa. Nice. Good job. You know, I beefed up the eight and a half pound tippet. Did you? So do I. With a, I got a heavy tippet. You know, like three X. There's the chronomid. I'll let this guy go. And you got a similar chronomid on in the shadow, right? Similar. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, Bry. That's gorgeous. <laughs> if you're <laughs> getting a shadow. Oh, let's go ah, just go. drop the net. Yeah. Oh, and there he goes. There. Beautiful. So what fly? You got one similar, the fly, right? It looks I like the know. shadow. It's a what? Shadow, gray brown. Gray brown. Thread with uh, black thread rib. Yeah. And on a I'm using on a on a twelve scud hook. Nice. And a brown magic bead. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Let's keep banging them. colors on this and of course look at that little baby the little the little shadow crown and it is being a killer I'll just hold them up for everybody look at that that is a this is a gorgeous fish look at the colors look at that just beautiful there he goes oh, oh, oh. Yeah. there you go Don unreal bright it's unreal yeah. it's crazy it's on right now we're in four feet of water Fish are cruising in here. It's nice and clear water. We're just pounding them. Shadow chronomid with the gray body. Killer right now. Yeah. Awesome. It's a nice fish. Oh, a nice fish. <laughs> I love it. Keep in open water. We've been having oh, problems with the weeds. Head for the weeds. Dog. But when you're fishing weeds, you gotta, you know, I broke mine off. You gotta expect that. Eight and a half pound test, Brian. Broke them off. This one's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh. You can only force them so much. I know. But you got a nice open patch there. You should be good. Beautiful panasque. Looks like gorgeous colors. Oh, yeah. 
Getting them? Oh yeah. You almost got him beat. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, not the weeds. Oh look at that. Oh you can see him down there. Scrapping away. And that's what they head for. They head right for those reeds sticking up. And those things are tough. You know, you think you could pull heavy line through there. There's not a chance. Yeah. It just busts everything off. Come on. Holy cow. Giving you a good tussle. There he is. Oh. <laughs> wow. That one thing with that cold water, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. They're yeah. strong. They are. <laughs> You're getting a workout, man. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, right there. All that <laughs> fell off. <laughs> Yeah, but we saw them. That was good. Beautiful fish. trout. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we got lots more of those. They keep <laughs> coming in here, so let's keep going. We're just, again, fishing right in tight, right in these weeds. Well, that guy, we were just going to get ready to move. Started reeling in, and wham! Yeah. Guy hammered it. So now, do we move, Brian? What do you think? Yeah, we better tough it out here a bit more. <laughs> tough it out a little longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little. Little crawnies and Daphne. Yeah. Oh, well, they'll eat a yeah. crawnum. Got metal gray and yeah. brown or. Like my, my black and silver rib, right? That's good. <laughs> and Daphne. Hey, they're eating the crawnies. It's good. <laughs> they'll probably take a blob. <laughs> oh, little guy, Bry. Just when we had our good luck cheesies. <laughs> We're on the good luck. And Dale just lost a big one on, on of course, tequila. So it shows you they're eating, but we need those big guys. Oh, there's off already. Just let him go. There he goes. Just need those big guys to start feeding on the crannies. That's what we need instead of tequila. Looks good, Brian. Yeah, looks hey, good. Yeah, looks really good. All right. So what'd you, uh, what'd you go to? A uh, no, static bag with a uh, brown holographic rib. Okay. Because we saw a few brown. Yeah. Kind of that, yeah. That throat sample. Yeah, the last one. So we've had two main ones. We had the uh, the darker Chiabra's pupa. We've had, of course, the black. Black with the silver rib was being killer. The shadow chronomid and, well, Brian just put on. Oh, that's a nice fish, Brian. That's a beauty. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right in the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty nice, right? Decent size, eh? Oh, yeah. Nice size. Oh, look at the colors. Yeah, beautiful colors. Oh, gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. Here he goes. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Guess I should have pumped him. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could have. Yeah, but you know what? We've still sampled a few. Like we said, we had the Chiabras. We had some little blacks and silvers. We yeah. had some with full of Daphnia, the it's last a, one. Yeah, it's so, a bit of a mishmash. I think man. I think this lake is ready to go big time. No kidding. It's just, this is the first, honest, this is the first day I fished this year, Don, without wearing insulated pants. <laughs> <laughs> and it's May, May 14th, so there you go. Hot fish. You know, you were mentioning that, right, with that cold water. Oh, yeah, they're hot. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I know we got the rear anchor. Man, this is a very hot fish. I don't think he's that big, but look at him go. <laughs> look at the screen and run. Wow. These fish, are, I love when it's cool water. You know, we mentioned it earlier, the water temp's about 52 Fahrenheit. It's just perfect for crawling. Oh, I... oh, no. Oh, oh. Broke him off. That's, I'll never do that. That's three fish I broke it off today. That was unreal. And there, there's the issue you have when you've got your indicator out, right? You got your fly out when the other guy's got a fish on. That's what happens. And then you drag them in and you snap them off. Man, you know what? This fish is not big, but what a fight. But they're strong. Oh, they're strong fish. These panaskin here are unreal. Actually, he's not that bad. Oh That's yeah, a he's nice good fish. size. Oh yeah, he's beautiful fish. Wow. And you know, it's kind of cool. We're only hanging in 
five feet, we're fishing six feet of water, five feet, right off the edge of the weeds. We were in the weeds earlier. Just phenomenal, yeah. isn't it? We just had steady action. Yeah. Wow. This is a good fish. I thought he was, uh, didn't think he was that big. And you, with that one there snapping off, that was a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Okay, I think he's ready, Bri. After a bunch of screaming runs. Oh, there he is. Oh, pretty what a gorgeous fish. fish. Oh, pretty fish. Just chrome. Chrome. Right in the, right where you got him, right in the top beak. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. There I'm going to pump him, Dodd. Okay, sure. Have a look. Okay, got him. Okay, um, Yeah, might as well have a look. You know, it's always a good thing to, to check it out. This is a beautiful fish. He is. Just chrome. Oh, yeah. I'll let you. I'll just hold him up real quick. But... <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. That was a hot fish. There is there, just, you know, your oh, beautiful yeah. panask, just gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> but we had our good luck cheesies, so what has he got in them? Veggies full of karanis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got everything in there, doesn't he? He's got everything in there. Everything. Big karanis. Look at ones. size. A couple of big ones. Big ones. Small Static ones, bags. Everything. Greed ones. And they're eating. Cool. Well, I know they like the little silver and black uh, shadow, so we're good. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. We snuck back in, we <laughs> went out for a bit and fished out, you know, in probably six feet of water. And then we saw a couple of fish move in the reeds again. We came right back in. I take a cast, I get a little bump, and I thought, ah, oh, little fish. And then, then I hooked this guy. It's not a little fish. This is a nice fish. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Brian, you're down. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see. Oh, I do. Double header. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a double header. Now, how do you do this? Oh, you're in the. Are you snagged? Oh, you got him? You lost him? Okay, I'll, I'll hand it back. Okay, I'll get this guy. This is a nice fish. This is a real nice fish. Oh, Brian, look at this fish. Oh, this is. This is a beauty. Is it recording too? Do you see the record button going? Hard to land yeah. it here. Yeah, oh man. Well, because it's so shallow, there's reeds everywhere. But you know what I did is I put on a, I got a real stout hook now. So instead of a thin wire, I tied this one with a thick wire. So it's yeah. a thick wire hook and it, it can hold them. Because I knew we were coming in here. So, oh man, look at that. Oh, just a gorgeous bow. Wow. Oh, phew. And he spit it already, I think. Yeah. He spit the hook. I'll show everybody the hook. My old favorite, this one here. It's that one there. It's a uh, holographic, yeah. you know, that tinsel with the red rib and brown, you know, that rusty brown thread thorax. But here's the fish. I'll try to hold him up. It's really tough to, really tough to hold him up in here. Oh, man. Can't get him. There he is. There he is. Beauty. Oh, Isn't that a beauty? All right. Oh, nice fish. There he goes. Oh, that wasn't a little guy, Brian. That was a good yeah, size. That was worth the move. We snuck in again and you lost yours. <laughs> you had one. He took you in the reeds. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so good. Cabbage brought. Good job. He went right into the cabbage. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Look at him shine down there, eh? Oh, look at that. The world. Oh, he's all wrapped now. Yeah. Oh, I think I better get a bit. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. 
Too oh. late. Too late. <laughs> That's better. Right in the cabbage. You had to yeah. be right in that, right in that brush over there. These fish are tons of fish are moving in these weeds. You know, classic springtime kind of conditions where you've got the fish cold water. They move right into these weeds to feed on chronomids and stuff. Warm up. Awesome. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a beautiful that rainbow a beautiful right there, dude. Oh, there's another good one. Upside down in the beak. Just the way you're always going to get them, eh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Get a little close up on him. That is, that sure, is that's gorgeous. A nice... Oh, yeah, look at how nice that is. Look at them shine in the sun. Wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Big, beautiful fish, Brian. Oh. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, nice. I'm gonna let him go. All right. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice job. In the cabbage. In the cabbage. Yeah. So there's where we're fishing. We're there's this, this big cabbage patch right here. All this brush. We've come right in to the bay, like right in tight and that's where all the fish are if you look around i'm just showing the whole entire bay here it's just all this reeds and big fish jumping all through and you can see the depth so as i zoom down in here you'll see we're only in what probably five feet four or five feet of water that's it not very deep at all but that's where the fish are all right in the edge of those reeds Nice. Nice fish. And you did the throat sample, you got the Chiabras, and you put on a Chiabras yep. guy. Got nice. him. Got him dialed. It's a beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Fish. Nice fish. There he goes. Nice job. And you got him a little Chiabras. Yeah. Let's see the fly. Let's Small. see what that guy looks like. Show everybody the fly. The secret about Chiabra's pupa, they don't have white gills. Ah. So you tie them dark heads and... Uh, oh, okay, without, uh, without, without gills. gills. Oh, yeah. Just a black bead or yeah. something? Oh, okay. There's a little trick. A gunmetal gray bead or a black yeah. bead. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Little trick. Good. I think I got some of those. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put one on. Nice. Well, we got a little time for, you know, we had a great morning. Oh, yeah. Okay. Crazy morning. Now we're in a little deeper water. We're going to try this for a while and we'll probably go back shallow. But we should talk about Roche Lake. You know, it, it winter killed about eight years ago. Yeah. And then, of yeah. course, freshwater fisheries restocked. And now it's phenomenal. Yeah. I oh, know. It's, it's back to where Roche is. What we remember it 15 years ago when we were <laughs> filming. We were filming, yeah. So we, each year the society is stocking uh, 12,000 all female triplight panask and 12,000 all female panask. So some are reproductive, some are non reproductive. And that's the uh, management program um, decided by the uh, provincial fisheries program. And how do they afford that? How do they afford to, to stock it? Well, you know, the 
the great thing is it's 18 years ago that the Fresh Art Society was created, yeah. a private not-for-profit society to deliver the provincial fish stocking program. And then today, when you buy your license for freshwater fishing, 100% of it, all of it, goes to the society, not only to conduct the stocking on a thousand lakes a year, yeah. but to do research, evaluation, uh, improving angler access, and public information about learn to fish, things like that. So it's yeah. it's a user pay philosophy that's working in British Columbia. Is it ever? I mean, and don't forget, like a hundred percent, not ninety five, not you know eighty, hundred percent goes back. Yeah. It all to, goes back. All goes back in to yeah. create great fisheries like this. Oh, it's the so roach. there. So there you go. Buy your license. Support the Freshwater Fishery Society and support having these great fisheries. It's fantastic. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Feels like summer. Oh, it is summer. It got hot out there today. <laughs> it had to be like 28. <laughs> it's, it is 28. It is. It's mid May and we've had just phenomenal fishing. And you know, the nice thing about the hot weather, it really brought on the chronomids, and that's what we were looking for. Right? Oh, we couldn't have timed it better. Yeah, fantastic. Double headers, quadruple headers <laughs> yeah, at the end. We got Deal, that on. <laughs> yeah, Deal got two rods out. We've got ours on. It was crazy. Fantastic. So, we've got some people to thank. Yeah, we thank the Freshwater <laughs> Fishery Society yeah. for. Uh, getting a park use permit to allow us to film on the lake, and BC Parks for allowing us to be on the lake as well. Roche Lake Resort for letting us leave our boats here, trucks up here so we don't have to drive them back and forth to Camelot. Yeah, Mike, great guys, fantastic. Yeah. Get us all set up here, it's perfect. Yeah, I oh know, it's, it's a great return after a, a long absence. <laughs> That's right, so, it's, so if you want the adventure, you know what, come up to Roche Lake, hopefully, hopefully COVID's done soon, everybody can come and enjoy the lodge and have fun out here. But when you do, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. Cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>